Jerry at Fair Oaks. Come on, Jerry. Let's run for it. There's not a soul around. What do we have to run now for, Lee? We're back on the campus. Almost to Custis Hall. I know we are, Jerry. But we're supposed to be in our quarters right now, getting ready for mass. It's almost time to eat. Oh, then when recall from play sounds, it's the same as call to quarters. Yes, just about. Come on now, let's hurry. Maybe we can make Hayward Hall without being seen. Oh, sure we can. Everybody's in the washrooms now. Boy, this is easy. I hope you're right, Jerry. But you never can tell just when one of the officers or even one of the cadet officers will show up just like they were shot out of nowhere. Oh, we should have been watching the time instead of talking to Max so long. Maybe it was my fault. We were doing all the talking. Yeah, but you're not onto the routine yet. It's really my fault. I should have known that bugle was going to sound recall. Hey, Lee, look. Quick, let's duck around this corner. Uh-oh, too late. He spotted us. Who is it? Cadet Captain Carl Lockhart. He's officer of the day today. Well, I guess we didn't make it. Uh, too bad, Jerry. You're going to get your first demerits. Yeah, and five of them, huh? Mm, that's right. Cadet Phillips. Yes, sir. I saw you two men coming through the arch just now. You weren't on the campus when recall sounded, that right? Yes, sir. What's your excuse, Phillips? We haven't any. We, uh, uh, we forgot what time it was. You're a new man, aren't you? Yes, sir. What's your name? Jerry Dugan, sir. Well, forgetting the time doesn't constitute an excuse, Dugan. That's just carelessness. Both of you, report to Captain Bogart right away and tell him you were out of bounds when recall sounded. Yes, sir. Better make it snappy. Mess call will be sounded in a few minutes. Yes, yes sir. sir. Well, that's that. Hey, who's Captain Bogart, Lee? Oh, he's a mechanical drawing teacher, but he's also the supervisor of Hayward Hall. Uh-oh. What'll he do to us? Oh, just give us a good talking to and then present us with ten demerits. Ten? I thought you said five. Five apiece. <gasps> oh, you had me scared for a minute. <laughs> Uh, that cadet captain, uh, the officer of the day, uh, what was his name? Uh, cadet Captain Lockhart. Yeah, Lockhart. He wasn't so bad. What do you mean? Oh, I mean, he didn't call us down or anything like that. Oh, no. No, they don't do that, Jerry. They just catch you and your punishment comes in the form of demerits. Well, I guess that's better than a good talking to at that. Mm, you bet it is. But wait till you start working off a lot of them. Now, five demerits aren't so bad. But I've seen some of the fellas have all privileges taken away from them and even been confined to quarters. I guess after you get a lot of demerits, you begin to think twice before you do anything wrong or break any rules. Mm, that's the idea of the system. Well, here we are. Let's get in and take our medicine. Uh, okay. Hey, uh, where's Captain Bogart's office? No, it's this first little office right here as we go through the doorway. Oh, yeah, I know now. I know who Captain Bogart is. Say, if he asks us what our excuse is, don't say anything. Just tell him you haven't got one. Yeah, I, I made a mistake telling Captain Lockhart we didn't know what time it was. Here we are. Yes, sir. Cadets Phillips and Dugan reporting out of bounds at recall, sir. What does your book of rules and regulations say about that, Phillips? The offense calls for five demerits, sir. Is that right, Cadet Dugan? Yes, sir. I regret that you're going to have to take five demerits, Dugan. That's not such a good start, considering you've only been here at Fair Oaks two days. Uh, excuse me, Captain... I'd like to take the blame for this. You know, we don't do that, Phillips. You reported you were both off the campus at the wrong time. You'll both get demerits. I will, however, give you a chance to explain if you care to. You have a good excuse to offer? No, sir. That's too bad. Perhaps it won't happen again soon. Just keep your mind on the time and anticipate the calls. Yes, sir. I want to tell you boys something that I don't believe you're familiar with. 
It's about the privilege you have in being allowed to visit McLeod's store during your free periods. For several years after Fair Oaks was founded, no cadet was allowed to leave the campus for any reason without a pass. And then, because of the popularity of Max Place with the boys, Major Davis decided to rescind that order and allow cadets to leave the campus to visit McLeod's place without a pass. Now, don't you think in giving you a privilege like that, the very least you can do is to get back on the grounds when you're supposed to? Yes, sir. It's safe to say that if that privilege were abused very much, you'd find a change made in the pass rules. I don't know of any other school that allows cadets to get one foot off the campus without a pass. That's all. We go to your quarters now and prepare for mess. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, Captain Bogart is right. There really isn't any excuse for being careless. Oh, sure he's right. But I'm sorry this had to happen, Jerry. Hey, uh, how do we go about working off the demerits now? Well, we just report to whoever's in charge of the study hall and put in five hours. You can put in an hour a day or two hours or split it up any way you want to. You'll be given credit for every hour you put in. And then, too, you might be lucky and get some merits. Merits? Do we get them, too? Sure. Haven't you read that part of your book of rules? No, I guess I haven't. Well, here's what happens. Cadet officers can give merits to cadets for uh, neatness, attention to duty, or for having one of the best rooms in the dorm. And each merit you get cancels the demerit. Oh. Say, that's all right. Here's our room, Jerry. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, hey, Lee, there's one other thing I haven't read up on yet. What's that, Jerry? Well, do cadet officers get demerits, too? Well, sure they do. And what's more, if they get more than ten demerits in one month, they lose their rating and are reduced to the ranks. Then they're not officers anymore? Well, not until they work off their demerits and get promoted again. Then they have more reason to keep from getting them than we do. <laughs> well, they've got a whole lot more at stake. Hey, uh, how do you get to be a cadet officer? Well, in the first place, Jerry, we can't become officers. Not as long as we're plebes and in our first year. We can get to be non-commissioned officers, corporals and sergeants, but that's as high as we go. And boy, if you can get as high as sergeant your first year, you stand a very good chance of getting a commission in your second year. Oh, I see now. Hey, come on, Jerry, hurry it up a little. Yeah. Get your tie off. we got to wash up, and we haven't got a whole lot of time. Okay. I'll only be a minute. All right, I got your towel. Okay. Hey, get your soap there. Yeah. Now, wait till I roll up my sleeves. Hey, some of the fellas are coming out of the washroom already. we got to make time. Oh, gee, everything is like clockwork here, isn't it? Yeah, sure. That's why we can't waste a minute. Everything's timed perfectly. Hey, aren't you ready yet? Yeah, okay. Let's go. <laughs> Where's your soap? Oh, what's the matter with me? Search me. You know better than I do. <laughs> hey, uh, should I close the door? Of course. On the bottom of page two in the rules book, it says, Doors to cadet's room shall be kept closed at all times when cadet is not <laughs> occupying his quarters. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember reading that. But I thought as long as we're only going across the hall to washroom, uh, well, it wouldn't hurt to leave the door open. Hi, where did you guys go after drill? Oh, hello, Tubby. We were over at Max's place. Oh, no wonder I couldn't find you. I went over to the gym and down to the lake and looked up here in your room. I thought maybe you'd left school. We got in trouble, Tubby. What kind of trouble? Oh, we were sitting in Max's place when recall sounded. Oh, boy, and you got caught, huh? Uh-huh. Did you get any demerits? Sure we did. Five apiece. Oh, wait till you hear what I've got to tell you. I'm going to tell everybody. Listen, fellas. Hey, fight down. Tubby's got something to say. Go ahead. Shoot, Tubby. Friends, Romans, and countrymen, lend me your ears. Go ahead. Sure, we're all ears. You're yeah, telling me. Hey, what's on your mind? He never had anything on his mind. Uh, <laughs> all that quiet, please. Let's hear what he has to say. All right, come on, let's have it. Well, our dear and beloved friend, Red Morrison, was tagged today for three demerits. <laughs> <laughs> really? Truer oh, words were never spoken. I saw the whole thing with my own eyes. Well, what happened? Well, I don't know. Oh. You said you saw it all. I saw Captain Gardner giving Red a lecture. But I don't know what for. Then I heard the captain say, that will cost you three to marinerates, Morrison. Can you imagine anything sadder than that? <laughs> I feel like weeping. Somebody please hand me a towel. <laughs> Serves him right. He ought to get more. <laughs> Come on, Jerry. Let's get washed up a little. <laughs> okay, right oh, with you, Lee. Funny. Hey, Lee, your huh? hands are awful dirty. You've been rubbing your neck again. No, no. They got dirty when I shook hands with you. <laughs> hey, has Morrison been in here yet? I don't think so. Well, what would Red Morrison want to wash up for? Of course, he doesn't know it, but he's just about all washed up already. <laughs> wait, wait, lion. <laughs> I heard that, Tubby Young. You fellas think it's funny, do you? Gee, Red Morrison. Quiet, Jerry. I don't think it's so funny. I couldn't laugh at a joke like that. My sense of humor is a little different. I'm going to give you all a treat, boys. I'm going to give you all something that you can really laugh at. Get in that shower stall, Tubby. Get in there, I said. What's he going to make him do, Lee? Shh, don't say a thing, Jerry. That's right. Oh, no, never mind about taking off your clothes. 
Just stand right in that shower the way you are. So, I'm washed up, huh? Red Morrison is just about washed up. Isn't that what you said? Mm, yes, I did. All right. Turn on the cold shower now, and we'll see who's getting washed up. This will give you fellas something to really enjoy. I want to hear a lot of laughs. Turn on that shower, Tubby. Hey, you'll ruin his uniform if he does. Shh, Jerry. I'll give you just three to turn on that shower. And if you don't, I will. One, two, three. Why, it's cold. Oh, oh it's cold. It's cold. Laugh. Come on, laugh. This is really funny. Somebody laugh, I said. Laugh. How's the water, Tubby? Isn't that refreshing? And come Gee, Hey, what's going on in here? What is this? Get out of that shower, Cadet Young. Turn it off. Yes, sir. Now, uh, do you want to tell me who did this? You didn't do it yourself. No, no, no sir. Does that answer both of my questions? Y yes, sir. Go to your room, Young. And get into some dry clothes. Yes, sir. The rest of you are at attention. I expect whoever did this to step forward and admit it. Phillips? Dugan? Morrison? Morrison, come here. You know that look on your face is giving you away, Morrison. Speak up. I did it, sir. I can't imagine a cadet officer doing a trick like this. I'm recommending ten demerits. And I guess I know you know what that means. You'll have to stand the expense of repairing or replacing Cadet Young's shoes and uniform, too. We do without the best polo I thought I told you to go to your room and change. Uh, yes, sir. I'm on my way now. That will be all now. At ease. Well, got Morrison, you report to Captain Bogart immediately. Yes, sir. Wow, 13 demerits in one day. That's more than he's allowed in a month. Ah, uh, you won't be an officer anymore now, will he, Lee? No, he'll be reduced to the ranks. He'll be no more important than we are. He'll lose his position on the polo team, too. Hey! There's your chance, Jerry. What do you mean, my chance? Well, there's a position open on the second string team now. You mean I should go right over and put my name in for it and take the riding test? Mm -hmm, that's it exactly. It's too late today, but look, we'll go over to the stable the first chance we get tomorrow and see Sergeant Alden. He's in charge of the stables and the horses and the polo teams. Can you ride, Dugan? That test is a tough one. Well, I can try, and that's just what I'm going to do. Uh-oh. There goes Soupy Soupy. Come on, let's eat. Why, that's the best thing I've heard today. Hey, 